knows how you come across somebody once in a while you, you shouldn't have messed with. That's me. Well, I, won't back down. I am not an African American. You're Oreo cookie. White in the inside and black on the outside. I don't have an afro. I have an Amerifro. Talking that idiotic stuff you talk about, I will slap you. Go ahead. Make my day. Black at the ace of spades, but 100, 100% American. Heard around the world by everybody and their mama. The Jesse Lee Peterson Radio Show. United the races with truth instead of dividing them with lies. We also rebuild in the family by rebuilding the man. Good morning and welcome to the show. I am Jesse Lee Peterson. Thank you so much for being with me. I do appreciate it. I have with me Byron Thomas. Uh, he's a student uh, at a college down in South Carolina, university down in South Carolina. And Byron displayed a Confederate flag in his dorm room and was asked by the housing department to take it down. He refused to do it. He posted this issue on YouTube, and uh, everybody and their mama saw it. It went viral, so we asked him to come on and talk about the Confederate flag. He also said that he doesn't like to be called an African-American. He is an American, and he's black, folks. And uh, so we asked him to come on a few minutes and talk about that. Good morning, Byron. Thanks for being with me. Uh, it's a pleasure to be on this show, Mr. Peterson. Well, I'm glad you're here. Very interesting uh, video that you posted, but a little bit about yourself. You grew up in Georgia, right? No, sir. North Augusta, South Carolina. I was just born at University Hospital in Augusta, Georgia. Yes, oh, sir. Okay. And you grew up in South Carolina? Yes, sir. Okay. And while growing up, what did you hear about the Confederate flag? What were you told about it? That it was racist, and if you see a white person carrying it, they're most likely 99% racist, and they could be, you know, a Klan's member. Well, if it's an older white male, he's probably a former Klan member or something like that. So I, I, I heard the stereotypical um, type every single time to, like, every other black person. And did you believe that at the time? Uh, it probably stuck in my head, but... I'm not that type of person that wants to judge somebody before I actually meet them. So I didn't act upon it like other people will act upon it. Um, how did your how do how do your parents feel about the Confederate flags flag? Uh, well, since they're in a different generation than I am, and they went through things that I haven't went through, uh -huh. like because they 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 have experienced racism, I, I haven't. So they they see that flag as you know a race a racist symbol, and uh, you know stands for uh, slavery and stuff. So they're well. They're not like gonna. They're not like bashing me or nothing. But they're they're not like you know fully supporting my actions since my views are different than theirs. Yes, sir. Right. Um. What's the name of the school you're at now? The university. You, the University of South Carolina Beaufort. A very beautiful Beaufort. college. Too. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. And so you uh -huh. decided on Thanksgiving to hang the Confederate flag in your dorm room. What made oh. you? What made? What caused you to make that decision? Oh, oh, I had a Confederate flag up ever since uh, after Labor Day, after I did a, a research project on the Confederate flag. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. And what and what made yes, you sir. decide to hang it in your room? Well, after I did the research, and I truly didn't find a reason to say that that flag was racist, only an uh, ignorant person was racist, and I wanted to make my own definition of what I see in that flag, in which I love the South a lot because I, I haven't experienced a, a bad time in the South, so I just... To me, I see Southern pride in it because I, I love everything about the South. So I, I hung it up because, well, true, I didn't have any other flags. So other people have stuff in their window. So I, I said, why can't I hang this up if I see it differently than them? So <laughs> I hung it up. And, and like, for two months, it's been up, and there, there has been no problems. No problems whatsoever. People wasn't coming up to me, cussing me out, or nothing like that. Because people knew it was my flag because everybody knows who my room is. So it, it wasn't bothering nobody until... The housing woman made me on um, take it down. That's when the problem started because I felt my rights was was being violated because she was. I knew what she was thinking that it was probably it was a racist symbol and offending people. But why can't my rights be respected if I don't see it as a racist symbol? And that's when the problem started. And so, how did how did this flag come to the attention of the housing authority? Um, 
I think somebody told me when they had the tour days or like when parents was coming, like some, some parents saw it and they they most like they most likely complain because that that's what some students told me, but I, I I'm not sure 100. percent That's amazing, man. And so they asked you to take it down, and you said no, I'm not going to do it. Or did you take it down for a while? Well, I, I I'm a very respectful kid, you know. That's another southern thing that I, I look at respecting every your elders. So I took it down, but. The video, but I had made that video before they had to, um, they had made me take it down, and I was trying to avoid the housing lady, but then she ended up finding me in the lunchroom, I mean, <laughs> the cafeteria, and so she said if I didn't take it down, I would got put up in, in a court, little ju- judiciary system for disobeying orders, and I, since I'm a respectful student and I don't want to get, get in trouble, I took it down. Yes, sir. Were you surprised at the uh, video? That that the video went viral like it did, such as it did. Um, yes, I'm very surprised because I never, I never thought it was gonna take off the way it did. I, I in all my days of living, I didn't think it would would have took off the way it did. If I would have knew that, I would have made made sure it was more appealing to people. But <laughs> I, I guess it's taking off now, and I, I'm a, uh, I need to share my message of what I'm fighting for, so then my generation can understand that it's time for us to form our own opinions about things. So then we won't be divided or separated by the, the same things the past generations have been divided by. Good and point. For our message. Let me, for let our me message. take a, hold that thought. Uh, let me take a quick break. We'll come back and pick up on this. Back in a moment, folks. Okay, welcome back. I am Jesse Lee Peterson, 888-775-3773. Byron, Byron Thomas is with me. He's a student at the University of South Carolina, Buford. And Byron displayed a Confederate flag in his dorm room and was asked by the housing department to take it down. Um, he posted a YouTube video on why he refused to take the flag down. And the video went viral. And so everybody and their mama are talking about it. A black man who doesn't feel that the flag is a uh, a racist flag. The Confederate flag is a racist issue. And Byron also said that in the video that he is not, he doesn't like being called an African-American. Uh, Byron, why is it that you don't like being called an African-American? Because I just truly feel that since I wasn't born in Africa, why do I gotta have that clan uh, in front of my American name? Like I, I was born in Augusta, Georgia. I like it's not like Africa's paying me any money or nothing like that. It's like <laughs> if I went to Africa, I would get uh, a hand clap of praise for coming back. So I just feel like I'm gonna be paying American taxes. So why can't I just have one word to like everybody else? Because when I was a sophomore, I had to take this form, and then had white, Hispanic, African American, the other. And it made me feel it made me feel really bad because why why couldn't I just have blacks like the the whites had whites and the Hispanics had Hispanics and so if they really want to categorize on um, categorize us why couldn't they have Polish American Irish American Latino American and stuff like that but instead African American was the only one that 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 was different from the other ones and I just don't want, I I just want to be fully American and just be black because. That's why I am. I'm black. I'm not an African. I agree yes, with that. In my, in my opinion, yes, sir. I totally agree with that. How old are you? I'm 19 years old, sir. You're 19? Yes, sir. Wow. So um, before I find, ask you what 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 is it that you, what type of message you want to send out to the folks, um, what type of responses are you getting from blacks and Hispanics and others about this Confederate flag incident? Well, uh, well, you would know, probably figure I'm getting a lot of hate stuff from black people because well, it's mostly from the past generation. Because matter of fact, I'm getting I'm getting positive feedback from the black students at my college because they told me personally uh, they've never seen racism. So why do they got to keep carrying all these hard feelings that their parents are, are on still have? Because if I didn't experience racism, why do I got to carry on my parents' feelings until my generation 
And then next thing you know, it's going to end up in my kids' generation. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to send a message to my generation that it's time for us to form our own opinions about things so we won't be separated by the same things the past generations have been divided. And hopefully we'll be more united because soon we're going to be the mind that America thinks in the Republicans and Democrats and the independents of America. So if we want to be united, we need to start forming our own opinions now before we carry on those same opinions that your generation carried on, and then we're going to keep being divided, and America's never going to get on track if we don't form our own opinions about things. Wow, I absolutely agree with you, man. At some point, black Americans have got to take control of their own lives, stop being influenced by the NAACP and the yeah, <laughs> and the uh, racist stop, black stop preacher. Stop following the bandwagon. Stop. That's why I say stop following the bandwagon and research something for your own stuff and form your own opinion instead of going by the word of mouth. Because Ale- Alexandra Hamilton said, "Those who stand for something fall for anything." Well, I think I, I hope I didn't get it wrong. I think he said he said something around that nature. So I'm standing for something on what I believe in, and I'm not gonna let somebody just easily take my rights away from me. Yeah, he said those who stand for nothing will fall for anything. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. My bad for getting around. Yeah, no problem. You were interviewed on CNN uh, recently about this Confederate flag uh, incident. How did that interview go? I was not happy when I interviewed because all the man was talking about was how black people feel and black people were seen as a racist and slavery issue. I'm not trying to. I'm not support. Well, I'm not like saying I'm supporting slavery or, or racism. I'm not trying to say I support that, but I'm trying. I'm trying to get out of that habit of just thinking that. Because if I haven't seen racism, why? Why do and as me being a black person, why do I gotta see it and like and automatically assume that white people are evil? Like, since, why, why since I'm black, why do I gotta uh, hate something just because I'm black? Like I'm black, I gotta hate the Confederate flag. That's well, why? right. That's and, right. And. And I'm trying to, that's, that's, these are the main points I'm trying to let my generation know because it is time for us to stop this, this thinking process of separating ourselves and become more united and just be open-minded and come out of the box. <laughs> that's, that's right, man. Let me take one final break here. we hold you for one more segment. And uh, we'll give out your website and all that good stuff. 888-775-3773. Smart young man. Back in a moment. Ah! Uh. 